من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الذي خلق الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراج المنير أما بعد أحب في الله ويليفين إن تايمز وير وريز فيفا بانديميكس هاف بيكم وايد سبريد this moment in time there is another pandemic people are claiming is coming up is rising up people live in disease people live in anxious people live in fear people live in depression people live in worries people live in distress people live in disease this is the life of this world this world allah rabbul izza says inna kunna mubtalin we will ever be testing you, our slaves Everyone is complaining. Everyone is saying, "Is enough? Is enough? Too much?" But what's the way forward? The way forward is going back. Going back where? Going back to "Qala Allah, Qala Rasulullah." Allah has said this. The message of Allah has said this. "Qala Allah" is in the book of Allah, Quran. "Qala Rasulullah" is in the book of Hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So many Hadith. Ibn Majah, Muslim, Bukhari, Ahmed, Dawood. So many Hadith. Implement this in your own house. "Qala Allah, Qala Rasulullah." You will see victory. victory will be on your doorstep you will not leave with anxious you will not leave with worry you these will be out of your door this will not penetrate your house if you leave upon qala allah qala rasulullah what is depression anxious of life of any will be outside the door not inside your house and if anybody has that in your house then he's not following what you the teachings of qala allah qala rasulullah people will live with problems problems will never go but if you have qala allah qala rasulullah in your house in your family this will bring contentment because qala allah you follow the commands of allah what allah says in the book qala rasulullah rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam his teachings the all knower the all hear allah rabbul izza will know that the house is the house upon the quran and sunnah those people am wahidun but if you put that aside then you've got issues issues depression anxiety worry you start worrying about others instead of you worrying about yourself when allah rabbul izza says in the quran ya ayyuhal ladina amanu alaykum anfusukum o you believe yourself is responsible for yourself if that is not being implemented what needs to be done you need to go back to qala allah the quran and cleanse your heart because your heart has a disease and that disease needs to be cleansed and the only one who can cleanse it is allah rabbul izza and his kalam allah the book of allah it will cleanse the disease that it is in your heart when you're engaged upon it frequently the all knower the all hearer knows everything about yourself the all knower the all hearer has saved so many people around the world billions who established so many of them have been saved by allah rabbul izza why can he know save you why can he know remove you from the calamity why why can you not ask yourself why establish the qala allah qala rasulullah where in your house allah rabbul izza sent his book and he says quran al azim this is a great quran now this book has so many surahs beautiful massive surahs which has examples example is surah al qasas surah al qasas is one of the most great surahs and surah al-qasas talks about pharaoh no musa alayhi salam talks about musa alayhi salam and his 
vividly, clearly. Fir'aun was killing every male child who was born. And Musa alayhi salam was born very young. And what did Allah say in the Quran? He's telling the mother of وَوْحَيْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمِّ مُوسَىٰ We've given inspiration to the mother of Musa alayhi salam. أَنِقَدِ فِيهِ فِي التَّابُوتِ Put him in a coffin. Tabut is a coffin. فَأَلْقِيهِ فِي الْيَمْ And then throw him in the river. وَلَا تَخَافِ وَلَا تَحْزَنِ And do not grieve and do not fear. We will return him back to you. And she did that because because who says Allah Rabbul Izzah? This is why I say establish in your house. قال الله قال رسول الله. And she did not hesitate. Drop him and throw him in the river. He ended up where? In the house of Pharaoh. The people of knowledge, the ulama says, Musa alayhi salam was returned to his mom before the next meal. And Musa was breastfeeding. Alayhi salam. He was returned to his mom before the next meal. Who did it? Allah Rabbul Izza. Allah Rabbul Izza says, وَمَا أَنْفَقْتُ مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَهُوَ يُخْلَفْ If you give anything for his sake, Allah returns it back. The mother of Musa gave it out. Child. A baby who she's in love, she loves so much. Chucked him in the way. Whatever. And Allah returned him back. This is the way forward. Qala Allah, qala Rasulullah in your house. Establish it. Establish qala Allah, qala Rasulullah. And you'll see miracles. By you reading a lot of Quran, you'll find raha. You'll feel happiness in your heart. Happiness in your home. All these people who are grieving and worried about oh, strep A, COVID, um, oh, L disease which is coming up, the monkey disease, whatever. You, you don't need to worry about that. The one who protects will protect you against all disease. So, Ahibba Fillah, Ya Ikhwani, establish in your houses, Qala Allah, Qala Rasulullah, and victory will come. In times of worries, establish قال الله قال رسول الله أبو يحيى from the Rukhato وآخر دعوان وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق